Former officials are facing charges in that case. Well, and your health researchers at UC San Diego recently released a study that shows sitting too much may age you a lot faster, especially elderly women who sit for more than 10 hours a day with low activity levels. And joining us to talk more about this study is Dr. Richard Shafu. Dr. Shafu, thank you for being here as always. Good to see you, Maria. Well, we all know that a sedentary lifestyle just isn't good for anyone. But in this case, researchers looked at nearly 1,500 older women who sat for most of the day uh, and what this means for them. Um, what does this mean for our elderly population in general? So it's a, it's a fascinating study um, because, Maria, what it shows us is that in these 1,500 women, and they, they studied them uh, for about a, a one-week period. They had an accelerometer and they looked at their activity level. And these women were anywhere from 64 to 95 years of age. Of these 1,500 women, and they found that of women that actually had 10 hours or more of being very sedentary and less than 30 minutes a day of moderate to vigorous exercise, they actually showed that their cells were about eight years older. Biological cells were eight years older than those that had vigorous exercise. So this is the first time that we've seen any actual cellular evidence that, uh, at least genetically, that there are changes that are going on that could have long-term health implications. Well, are men equally affected by well, this? We don't know yet, and that's going to be the next study. And certainly what we saw in this um, was, Maria, that the, the chromosomes have on their end something called a telomere, which is sort of akin to the little plastic cap that's on the end of our shoelace. It sort of protects the chromosome. As we age, those telomeres get shorter and shorter, but what they found in these people that were sedentary, that these chromosomal ends, these telomeres, actually prematurely got shorter and shorter. And the problem is that these telomeres, Maria, are associated with certain diseases, cardiovascular disease, certain types of cancer, and diabetes. So there are some potential health implications. So, of course, gender could be an issue. Um, when should, like, you know, I, I'm going to announce this to the whole county, but I'm in my mid-40s. When should we be talking about the benefits of exercise? Like, is it ever too late to start? Or So, no, great question, Maria. There's never too late to start. And then this study actually shows, I mean, we're talking to elderly people, and certainly the interesting thing was when they took the people that actually were doing exercise for like 40, you know, 30 to 45 minutes a day of moderate to vigorous exercise, then it didn't really matter how much the rest of the time you were sedentary during the day because it didn't have that same chromosomal effect as if you simply were not exercising. So the key is it's never too late to start, but you need to be consistent with this exercise on a daily basis. And it needs to be moderate to vigorous, should be at least the researchers showed anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes. All right, so active lifestyle, water right. and sunscreen, right, Dr. Shafu? Exactly. All right, thank you so much. We'll talk to you soon.